If you want to know how you can determine the closest object to a given object very fast, even though you have many many objects in your scene, then this is the right tutorial for you. Let's have a look at our sample scene. We have two prefabs, a black ball and a white ball and a spawner script. So it takes these two prefabs, a number and spawns them onto the screen. We will run this and you will see what I mean here. These are many balls. So, and our task is to find for every white ball the closest black ball and draw a line between them just for demo purposes. So the normal approach would be you take the white ball list, as you can see here is a list of all the white balls and go through the list of black balls. And what you will do there is just say, okay, uh, nearest distance is float max value and the nearest object, it's just null. And then you draw a line between them as soon as you checked every black ball. So this is a bad approach. I will explain why in a second. So we will calculate the distance with factor 3, distance between white ball transform position, black ball transform position. And the, if this is smaller than our nearest distance, so our distance we know now, um, we will update this distance. And as soon as we update the distance, we will update the object. So, uh, looks pretty good, uh, except that we calculate the distance twice, but this really doesn't make a difference. We will start the script and hopefully it will compile and run. Yes. And as you can see, the uh, lines are drawn. Everything looks pretty good. Let's have a look at the frames. So we have 100 or 80 frames per second. And you would say, okay, everything is fine. Um, let's raise the number to 1000, so 1000 white uh, balls and 1000 black balls. And as you can see, uh, it gets pretty, uh, it's, and as you can see, it's becoming very laggy. So we have 2.7, 2.6 frames per second. So how can we do better? Easy, we will just use a KD tree. Um, I wrote a script, the link is in the description, you can download the script, it's fairly complex, I won't explain it here, but uh, what you can do is just changing the list and use the KD tree, um, you can add objects to them, you can loop through this list or this trees and um, this won't affect any of your code and it won't affect the frames per second because we have to do something. So we don't need these lines. We will just do the following. We will say, okay, we have this black boards list and then we have a method called find closest. And we'll say, okay, white boards transform position um, will get us the nearest object. Um, this list has to be updated if the objects within the list are moving during the frames, and this is the case here. So we have to call update positions on this list. And let's rerun our scene. And as you can see, it's fast. So it's three times faster. So we have uh, 15 frames per second instead of two uh, frames per second, so it's seven times faster than the old approach. And um, if you're seeing someone asking for a method how you can calculate these distances very fast, now you know it, it's a KD tree. And uh, yeah, recommend him this script. So if you like the video, leave a like and leave a comment what you want to see in the future.